Hi, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday coaching call for home advocates. Again, as always, Google Home Advocates. Type in two words, home and advocates with an S. Uh, you can also, if you are interested in marketing assistance, free help. Happy to give up my time and talk to you about your own personal marketing and set up a time where we can talk on Zoom. 858-663-2537. Text the word help. It's down in the description. For those of you that are here live, it's at the bottom of the screen. Please feel free to text me. I would love to talk to you about what you're doing for a marketing plan and help you get more listings. Today, I am going to share with you a formula that um, prior to the pandemic, uh, I was doing marketing for real estate agents, but I was also doing marketing for other businesses. This is my formula for doing all things in marketing. This is what I would do on a daily basis to promote myself if I was doing daily marketing, okay? Do I do it now? No, I create so much video content right now that I don't actually need to do the formula that I'm giving you. For, I would say 90% of you, maybe even 99% of you watching this video, you are doing nothing on a daily basis. And I don't mean that in a negative way. You probably have such a decent referral base coming in and out that you don't feel that you need to do more. I'm here to tell you going into the winter season, season, I think it's incredibly important going into the next few months, especially with what I call the media blackout. We talked about it this week. Uh, next week, the media will stop talking about, um, will stop talking about um, everything. They just will. They will. Uh, and that's fine. That's what they do every year, and they won't pick up again until sometime in January. So this is a great opportunity for you to put a lot of content out to uh, get your website exposure, to get your social media exposure, to get your video uh, exposure, to get you exposure, to be seen as the authority in your market, the person to hire in your market, right? So as a real estate professional right now, you want to be seen as a buyer or seller representative. There are three ways to do that. That is like, trust, and expertise, okay? Uh, by doing the formula I'm giving you, you can create those on a daily basis. You really only have to perform it for a month. When I used to do this as a business model, uh, I would only do it for a month. I, I think after a month, you only have to do it about once or twice a week, in my opinion. Would I do it every day? I would. Uh, that's how, again, by typing in the word home advocates, it's on page one of every search engine in the world. Not slightly. I don't care what uh, search engine you use. I don't care what browser you use. I don't care what phone you use. If you type in home advocates, you will see our company on page one. And one of the greatest features of people who join our organization, you are on page one of Google. There, there is no real estate business website that I know of that features its clients on the front page. So it's one of the, I, I personally think one of the greatest features of our program that completely by itself sell the program. And of course we have, you know, guaranteed face-to-face -face appointments for you. We have marketing, we have coaching calls, we have one-on-ones, we have all that stuff as well. That's just part of the coaching. So again, Google Home Advocates or, or Yahoo or DuckDuckGo for the one of you that's on the call that DuckDuckGoes or whatever that thing is. Uh, I, I believe, I, I've never tested it, but I, I imagine AOL's the same. Um, so... Home advocates use this formula to get its page rank. I also have used it for podcasts. Uh, there is a top 10 podcast right now that I produced in its early days, used this formula for 30 days. It is the single highest listened to program without 
um, a star attached to it, like a celebrity. Uh, and it's because I use this formula. So I'm going to share with you my daily formula. So I would recommend if you're watching this on video or anything, go ahead and push pause at certain sections and uh, take notes. And I will be more than happy to... Yeah, you and Tina Herner. I, I think this is funny. Uh, just Tina Herman and Laura use duck, duck, go. If anybody else says it, um, I'm just going to boot you out of the group. Two of you can have it. I'm going to let two of you have duck, duck, go. Sorry, that amused me. All right, let's move over to sharing the screen and get you guys underway. So... I was approached this week to do a couple of websites, right? And um, I'm going to share screen. I'm going to share over there. Share, 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 share. Okay. I was approached to do a website this week for someone. And websites per se are not the big deal, in my opinion. Just going to be honest. I don't, I don't think much directly of websites. I, I, For me, they are just housing programs uh, or very graphical uh, business cards, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. To me, that's what seems most important. It's just they're capture pages. Uh, if you look at Home Advocates, the way it's structured, it's, yes, it's got video on the front. Really, what is it? It's an, it is designed uh, for me to display the names of advocates. And this is more of a marketing technique, if that makes sense, right? So when you join Home Advocates, it's all set up, we update it, uh, and you're on the front page. So that when you meet with somebody, you can use whatever dialogue you want to and say, I'm Lee, I'm, you know, I fix broken real estate. I, I, we've gone through all this a million times. But for me to say, hey, just type in the word home advocates, right? Let's open up a private browser. And this is where you really need to start. For me to, let's use duck, duck, go. Just for my amusement, right? It's a search engine, right? And I tell somebody to type in, I, it's amazing that DuckDuckGo already has those as search patterns. That That's all from backlinking. Oh, we're from page one here too. Now, the reason I use a private browser is to prove out the fact that I can't influence how the search works. Okay. So that means if I go to AOL, right, which is a search engine at the end of the day, and type in Home Advocates, I should get us. So on any platform, think of this from a marketing perspective, and this is how it should be for your own personal business, right? So I'm going to build this website. Uh, I already own, uh, I believe it's for somebody. Uh, I have a couple of requests, but let's use Las Vegas for the sake of discussion. So when somebody types in Las Vegas realtor, I need to know that that's what people are searching for when they're looking for somebody brand new on the internet. And there's a way to do all that that doesn't get really complicated. Uh, you can do Google word search, right? Uh, but I don't know if anybody would ever know what they were looking at, right? Uh, but there is a research tool by Google that will do all the work. Um, and it'll give you ideas, it'll do all the work for you. There are people who will do keyword research for you, right? Uh, there's even keyword research. Oh, that's crap. The other way I would say to do it, go to Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And I want to do a keyword search. You can hire somebody to do all the work for you be before you begin. I already know because I already know, but... They will, you can hire somebody for five bucks who will just basically go online and do all the work for you. Pretty straightforward. Very simple. Uh, always make sure that you have at least 
50 people who've used the service never use a single service person. So you want to use somebody who's got at least 50 and they should be at least above a four-star review. That's my opinion on dealing with Fiverr. Otherwise, it's all very questionable. What am I looking for? What would a standard homeowner, right? How did home advocates come to be? I did the keyword search. It was a keyword I knew I could get. It was a high search pattern, but there were a lot of government agencies on there, right? So I had put thought into what is something that's like a realtor, that's based on being a realtor. There was a lot of thought that went into the name Home Advocates. Uh, from a marketing standpoint, it's amazing for any of you that are a part of the program, right? Uh, you can say I'm a home advocate. What's that mean? Well, type in the words home advocates. I don't, I don't care what your spiel is that gets them back to page one. They're in control. This is, um, I like watching magic and the best magic to me is when you turn the trick over to someone else to participate and the trick still works, right? That's the most amazing magic that there is, in my opinion, when you've got an effect or, and that's what this is. This is more or less a technical effect. It's a self-working card trick. I put in a lot of effort on the front side so that Adonis, who's right at the top of the page, or Antonio, can be found just like that. Just like that. And it works very well. The second thing that it does it captures information. That's all I ever wanted this page to do. Those are the two thing it needs to the two things it needs to do. So if you're asking me what should I build for a website, it should be a good display of what you can provide. Number one. Number two, right? A capture. And number three, uh, for those that really think that they need to have it, I, I, I emphasize on that, is an IDX plugin, which I don't know how many people are going beyond Zillow. To be brutally, I would rather put a Zillow search platform on my own website before I'd probably put an MLS IDX, just being perfectly honest with you. I think homeowners know Zillow. I think, uh, so I would look in and around keyword searches that revolve around Zillow. Again, how did we get to homeadvocates.io? It's a more expensive domain name by far to purchase. Uh, it was originally created by the cryptocurrency companies. Uh, I think David Bartels put me onto it first before I started to research it. Uh, but then even above that, there seemed to be this very weird conversation because I got in on the beginning of it. It coupled with what you're looking at right now on my page is a WordPress website. I cannot stress this enough. I stress WordPress website, WordPress websites. Okay. So you need the keyword search pretty much generically. My answer would be not to create, let's use Lori for the sake of example. I wouldn't create laurineville.io or laurineville.com, whatever was available. I wouldn't do that. Nobody's doing a direct search for Lori Neville, right? What they would be searching for is Las Vegas Realtor. Las, and that's the direction I would go. If you have the ability to get your city and the word realtor, then that's the direction you want to go. I personally use uh, Namecheap. I used to use um, GoDaddy, and I think I still have a couple of domains on GoDaddy, but that's not where I go. I use Namecheap. They seem to be the cheapest by far. They have the best upfront uh, discounts. So let's keep using the uh, Lori example. So I want to get Las Vegas... Realtor.io. Again, if I can afford it, I want the .io. And there it is. It's available. And before anybody gets any bright ideas, I'll take that. 
Sorry. Because it's good for the discussion. You want to get an SSL. Can I stress this? Add an SSL to your website. Do you want to see what happens if you don't get an SSL? I can explain what it is, but it doesn't really matter. It's a site security certificate. When it is not up to date, let me show you um, what happens. This would be, uh, oh, Boxing Tonight. I need to update. This is what you get if your security certificate's not up to date. Got it? One of my sites. I have to update this certificate. It's a $5 update. I just haven't gotten around to it. So always get an SSL. Number two, get WordPress. Get a basic WordPress. I cannot stress this. Get basic WordPress. Don't get a web hoster. Don't get a social media manager. Don't get a VPN. You can get an email. I'm okay with that because it's got a free trial, at least with this. And I want WordPress hosting. Those would be the three items that I would buy. Any questions right here? Because that's what somebody would search for in Las Vegas. They would search for Las Vegas Realtor. Could I go further? Henderson Realtor, Summerlin Realtor, if you want to be that specific, yes. Uh, I don't think that that's still how anybody would search. I, In fact, I know it because I've done the homework, right? It would be Las Vegas Realtor. Oops. These are the people who paid up at the top and they pay a lot, I might add. And look what comes up line one, lasvegasrealtor.com. Think there's a coincidence to that? Think there's a coincidence that when I type in home advocates, again, I'm line one with the same name. There's something to be said about that. There's something to think about. And it's no offense to any of you or your greatness. Uh, I, I think the only person that would be known by name in this entire town is Steve Hawks, right? Um, and by the way, if you go through the front door to try to find Steve Hawks and talk to him directly on a phone, you'll never do it. He's too insulated. You need to have better vehicles to capture information. Look what else also comes up. Las Vegas Realtors, right? They named their company. This is smart marketing after being Las Vegas Realtors. Can I cop? Can I get that traffic and push it and use it a different way? Sure can. I can do exactly what they're doing. Uh, and in fact, jump in front of them with the formula I'm about to give you. In front of them. Take about 30 to 60 days of doing this kind of marketing that I'm about to show you. Are there any questions on having a baseline website? And I'm not even talking a crazy website. If you spend more than a couple hundred bucks, I mean, max $500 on a website. And that's really dolled up. I think Home Advocates is maybe, I don't know, three to $500 of actual hard costs. There are other things going on here that I wanted done, but the biggest deal was making sure that this thing worked appropriately. But you should never, the, the amount of money I've seen people spend on websites is crazy to me, okay? Everybody good to this point? You can create a website. Number two, you need a Facebook business page. How many times have we said this? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter's overrated now. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, and uh, YouTube or Google, right? So I would have lots of, you know, whatever email address you want, but I'd probably match it. So the gimmick that David Bartels did with uh, his company, when you can't, let's just say I want to get a new Gmail account, right? And And the same for here. Home Advocates was taken on Facebook. And I saw David doing this and it's actually a pretty clever idea, which is put a capital I and a capital O. So trust me when I say this, home advocates IO at Gmail is available when I create a Gmail account. Does that make sense? Um, so Las Vegas Realtor, capital I, capital O at Gmail will be available. 
why do I need that? I need to put my content that I make every day up. And these are all authority websites. The thing at the end of the day is that when somebody searches for assistance in your city, I want to be on line one. Or when I meet with somebody at a networking event or any event for that matter, how powerful would it be? Okay, just a question. If I met someone and said, oh, I do real estate in Las Vegas, just type in Las Vegas realtor. And my name's the first name. You're telling me that doesn't have power over clients when you're meeting somebody face to face outside, indoors, talking to them while knocking on the doors. Why do you think I put and invested so much time into home advocates to get you guys on the front page? This works. I've done it myself. I proved it out. In fact, my plan is to shoot video on how well this work works. Oh, Sally, what are the three? Uh, Facebook, Instagram, and then Google. You you need a you need a Google platform, right? Uh, so that you can put up YouTube. You can't just start putting up YouTubes. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you have to have an account. I use my frankly Hanish Gmail account for that particular account, but you have to have a Gmail account. Are there any questions right here on what you want to set up before we go to the content you start putting on these platforms? They're all easy to set up. And if you ask me what else would I do, I'd do a Yelp. I'd have a Yelp page. I'd have, and by the way, I think Yelp is what you want to pay for personally. If I was going to pay for marketing on a monthly basis, Yelps to put you at the top of the page when you go on Yelp, worth every penny. And they don't charge that much. They're not insanely overpriced. Google's overpriced. Facebook has to be used correctly or they'll drain two or $300 from you before you can bat an eye, right? So that when somebody types in Realtor Las Vegas, again, that's what they're going to search for. I've already done the keyword search. It doesn't matter if you're in San Diego. It doesn't matter if you're in the South Bay. If somebody types in Long Beach Realtor, it should be Antonio, right? That's reality. That's how it should be. This up here, sponsored results, is not that expensive. She's got one review. I guarantee she is getting at least one or two leads per month from this. She is. Everybody uses Yelp. People who don't use Yelp are lying, uh, or people who say they don't use Yelp are lying. Yelp is very powerful. Yelp can make or break a business. I've broken and made businesses with Yelp and proved it. Uh, I was going to ask last summer before we started Yelp, but never followed up. Can we do the follow-up later? Uh, yeah, sure. So everybody got it. Those would be all the platforms where my keywords are realtorlasvegas.io. I now own the domain, right? My job for my client, which would be Lori in this particular case, is to get her the traffic of Spring Valley, Summerlin, Henderson, Paradise, Las That period. Look at how it's identified on here as Las Vegas. They're, they're looking, you know, at the entire county, basically, uh, for Las Vegas realtors. Everybody good to this point. And step one, I need platforms. I need people to, uh, my goal is to get people to type in Las Vegas Realtor and to get live hot calls or be able to capture live leads coming in. My opinion, I think people want to be able to pick up the phone and call you, right? I would be really upset. And by the way, she's the only one paying for this. This is crazy to me. Um, how far does this go before we're out of that's yeah, that's crazy. There's all realtors. So these are all the people advertising right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By the way, Oh, I thought they were alphabetical for a minute. That was interesting. 
I'd have to look at it, but I'm okay. I'd still be on page one, but almost none of them have reviews and these guys are paying for it. It's crazy to me. 24. I guarantee this is the person getting all the calls from this page because she has 24 reviews with testimonials. And it is not that hard to set that up. I cannot stress it. This platform that she's paying for with those 24 reviews is getting her phone calls each and every day. No doubt. When people are looking for a realtor, they don't know. Cold start marketing. Okay. There's only five or six people. Some of these pages can go deep. If you type in Los Angeles realtor, it'll go for days. Right. So you want to be a little more specific. I'll pick up Long Beach traffic or I'll pick up uh, Carson traffic. Sometimes you have to go a little deeper, right? So go after a city. Everybody good to this point on the platforms you want to set up? Going once. Uh, going twice. Will you write up a referral for me on my Zillow page? Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, you have a question, Huey? Happy to do it. Gives me a chance to drink coffee before we talk about um, what I'm going to do next. Sure. Everybody got it? Everybody got their platforms? All right. Now that I have a platform, and for the sake of our discussion, I'm going to use Home Advocates because it's already done and it's easy to use. I'm going to go into the back end of, oh, done. Can you load reviews yourself to Yelp or does the individual have to do it? Um, you can do it yourself. I will talk to you later about how to do it, but I would go through, you've got to, they've got to have, you got to have an account for them, right? So if you're asking me, can I go on, on an incognito website and create accounts for these individuals and upload, yes. Yes, you can. For a fact. Know it for a fact. But that's probably the only way to do it. Unless uh, you contact Yelp and they're doing your business page. And they do do that. I have clients. These are their reviews. Can I do anything with them? You could probably put them in your profile. I, I know for a fact you could put them in your profile. How would I really want to do them? I'd want those put into individual accounts. Uh, can I take a look at yours and see if I can make it better? Yes, of course I can, Antonio. Uh, of course I will. All right. So going into my account and I'm going into the back end of hosting, right? Remember, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, it's under apps. I stress, easy WordPress, stress it, live by it, love it, know it. Everybody should have it. It's the only platform I build on these days. I only have two of them running. So we're going into the back end of Home Advocates right now, where I get Google searched every day for the word Home Advocates. Why? Because it's the message I put out on all my videos. Other than that, we haven't really added new content in literally forever. Uh, I also use Jetpack, which isn't, 100%, it's okay. I have some days that are better than others. Let's see, when was the last best day? Yesterday was a good day. How'd we do? Uh, we had 12 people. Search engines were four, and what were they? What a shocker. Google search engine. Why? What's the message I put out to everybody? Google Home Advocates. People, again, when I'm shooting video for everybody, Google home advocates, even on our big day, you know, uh, standard day is somewhere around 50. I would love to see what our average is. And I never know exactly what moves us in which directions, but let's just take a regular day, uh, a bigger day, right? Where it's 30 people. Come on, highlight it. I want to see it. And you can break these down. Month by month, we've had bigger months. Wow, September was a much bigger month. Uh, 2,000 views, 948 visitors. They stay on the page long enough. That's my goal, right? My job is to advertise all of you. 
I'm no almost no different than Yelp. My job is to get you as many views as possible, right? So if I'm getting 50 to 100 people on the website each and every week, I'm doing my job appropriately, marketing all of you as advocates, if that makes sense. Now, we're going to add content. I'm going to show you how to add content and make it pretty simple for all of you to do it. Uh, we will make the blanket assumption that you now have a Facebook, an Instagram, a Google account, uh, a Yelp account, but that's just kind of bonus. Uh, you also have, right, uh, a website. I'm umming and awing after I told you guys this week on video not to do it. I'm trying to make sure that I have clear and conveyed thoughts on all these topics. All right. So the next thing, once those are set up, they're set up forever. Okay. Cannot stress it enough. Once those are set up, they're set up. It's just that simple. You don't have to deal with them again. Okay. Now it's about content and driving traffic. Now, unless you're going to hire someone to do ads or whatever, and by the way, I would tell you never to do it. I don't, I don't pay a single soul on the planet to do direct advertising to our website. I always do advertising for my content, but I never do advertising to my website. And here's why. Uh, it's something that Lori pointed out. I don't want spam. I get enough spam every day. Our website actually does so well that the spammers contact me because they want to put backlinks because I'm a high domain authority in real estate now. It, that's real nerdy stuff, but that's a fact. I, I get probably 10 requests a day from hackers or whatever they are. Somebody had their hand up and then took it down. I didn't see it quick enough. Am I, am I, everybody caught up to this point? Who who had their hand up? I'm uh, who? Uh, uh, why do you lift it and put it down so quickly? Got to give me a chance to jump over there before I do content, my content. The wheel of content. I, for those of you that have been with me for a long time, I don't think you've seen me do the wheel of content in maybe five years. Same formula I use. If somebody were to hire me right now to launch a website, which I've had two requests, I've never, I've, it would be different now, but it isn't about making a website. It's about making sure that um, Marvin asked me to really do a bells and whistles website. This is a bells and whistles website, right? I want somebody to type in uh, Marvin's area. And boom, he gets it. That's my job. I don't think it's building a website. I can go on Fiverr and get somebody to build a website. In fact, that's what I do. In fact, that's what happened here. It has nothing to do with making it a website. A website is nothing without traffic. Nothing. It is like a glossy billboard that nobody sees because it's facing the wrong way. Does that make sense to everybody? So let's talk about what it would really take seven days a week and about 30 to 45 minutes of your time content wise. And this is the trick. Once you have your Facebook account, the next big thing you want to do, and we've talked about it a million times, is to join groups. We've talked about it, right? So if we go over to the Lee Hanish account, we go to groups that I belong to. I belong to lots of groups. Eesh. See more. So I belong to a bunch of groups, right? And all of these groups and all of these pages are specifically so that I can post in them. Does that make sense? Right? So there's my groups. They changed this too. God dang it. Gosh, I hate the fact that they've done that. I really do. I hate all the changes to Facebook. Here's all my Las Vegas groups. These are all Las Vegas groups that 
I'm either a part of or that I can join, right? And the reason I do that is so that I can share my content in there. Got it? All right. So now I've got a Facebook page. My Facebook page has joined all my local Las Vegas groups. I have all these parts and pieces in place. Let's start driving some traffic at it. So we will use uh, the story that I just found, and I'll, I'll put it to you guys in the link right now. And that's on equity in Las Vegas. And the other reason is because I've done all the work on doing the, uh, there you go. That's the story we're going to use. Uh, so the reason I'm using this story is because I've already done the graph, right? We did this the other day. This is just more traffic that I can do um, and back it up with actual content. So every single day you need to put something unique up on all of these interconnected pieces. So think of it like a spider web. The center of the spider web is you waiting to get a phone call, an email, or a direct message, okay? Your job is to put as many lines out to direct them back. At the center of your web is your website. That's probably the number one drawing location, my opinion. Uh, they're not expensive. Buying a name for your website's like uh, 30 bucks. Getting a house that is maybe eight or 10 bucks a month. Uh, getting an SSL certificate is another five or 10 bucks. And hey, get yourself a custom email. At least on Namecheap, the first month is free. So give it a try. Enjoy it. Gmail's free. YouTube is free. Facebook is free. Yelp to sign up is free uh, until you, you know, pay for being on their platform, but it doesn't hurt to have it as a platform. But if you're talking all the stuff you can get away with, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Gmail, Google, all of that in general are free. You don't have to pay until you go and start boosting or advertising the content you put out. Keep it straight. Don't advertise your website. You will get spammed. You can advertise your content to drive people back. Does everybody understand that? So what do I mean? Let's take Diana Olnick's story. Uh, again, I don't have any secrets to creating content every day. And I can do it every single day. Okay. All you need is Google. I recommend using incognito mode because then it won't pull up previous searches. But I have a series of searches that I want to know about. Las Vegas. Home values, easy. Then click on news. There you go. Four weeks ago isn't bad. I wouldn't ever go more than a couple of weeks ago. In this particular case, Diana Olick's story is from November 7th. So I'm okay with it. I like the photo. So right click, save image. We're going to use that photo later on. Okay. Now, we're going to use this as our landing spot, right? Because on my website, I have a way to capture homeowners information. There's an 800 number at the top of the screen, right? So it's a good landing spot. Does that make sense to everybody? So I am going to create a content page on my website, which is WordPress. And it's not difficult. I'm going to add a new post. There you go. This is what it looks like in WordPress. And this is the very basics of WordPress. So let's go over to this awesome diet. Now, I have had this argument with lots of people for years and years about reusing content that's already on the web. Do the algorithms know? Yes, they do. Does it affect your website? No, does not. I, I think the putting of content onto your website period is more important than worrying about the content you're putting up. So my opinion, it's always an excuse not to do a video. It's always an excuse not to put content up. It's always a con an excuse not to do a meme, right? So what is my goal here? My goal is to get people onto my site. So if they have a question about equity, 
And by the way, there's an advanced level to this. I can put hooks in them. I can have Google ads pop up with my image. I can do all that stuff. But the very basics of making it so that when people type in the word Las Vegas realtor, this is what I would do. Start with your first piece of content, right? So let's pull it up. There we go. Uh, so I would probably, yeah, I like the title. It's good. I'm not even going to give her credit, to be perfectly honest. I have been approached in all the years. I have only been approached one time by the original content creator um, for asking for a backlink or credit, if you're wondering. And that's in 20 years of doing this one time. And I'm going to paste it. There's the bullet points, right? And I'm going to keep this and copy it and use them as my tags. Boom, just like that. So now I have all my tags over there and then I'm gonna put the actual article. I'm just copy cutting and pasting. I'm not doing anything mind blowing here. All right, there's the actual article. Now the rest of this goop will disappear. And to make sure that I don't have any muck on it, I always recommend to create a new document, paste it on your document, and you want to paste it right here. The final one, the letter A, it's only keeping the text. It takes all the code out. It's important. And you just go through and clean it up. This isn't difficult. This is going to be the basis of my video. This is going to be the basis of my memes. This is going to be the basis of all my content, right? So boom, boom, I'm gonna take that out. That's an ad, that's an ad. I'm gonna take that out, tighten that up. Boom, boom, boom. This video is lame, that's an ad. And I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take, oops, take this out, take this out. Where are we? All right, take this out, take this out, and make sure that I've got all the parts and pieces. There it is. Another quote. We're all done. Now I'm going to go back and copy, cut, and paste this. By the way, keep track. This only takes about 15, 20 minutes a day if you really want to go and get people to see your message or even see your content. I would do the same with video too, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to go back to our website. I'm going to paste it right here. Now I'm done. I'm going to add a photo. Guess what? I'm going to add the photo she gave me. Oh, tags are at, uh, where's photo? Set featured image, upload file, and a select a file. There's the picture. Right, it's uploaded. Now, alt text, Las Vegas Realtor. Well, in this case, it's Home Advocates. By the way, all my photos, if you look at their alt tags, they're all the same thing. I don't want a caption because that'll show up underneath it. And description, Home Advocates. If I was doing this for Lori, it would be Las Vegas Realtor. Got it? Don't overcomplicate it. People put Las Vegas Realtor and then their name. That's not what your keyword search is. I mean, it is just that simple. Now it's in there, right? Always add a tag at the end. There used to be a formula about everything in regards to utilizing and making this a big deal. My big thing, just use headline one. There you go. And then add a phone number. Enter email, which is, um,
Done. I'm going to put this down below on purpose so that this is boxed by itself. That's now a keyword within the document. I'm going to make sure it's in my tags. Cool. It's all done. I'm going to publish. Got it? Now we can go to that page on the website. Now, my job is to get people on this page. This is the at free advertising portion of it right here. Got it? So I'm going to use social media. I'm going to use content. I'm going to use everything to bring people here. Right? So the first thing I want to do is I want to knock out. I try to clear three things. Visual, video, audio, and something written when I'm building a website or I'm creating traffic mm -hmm. for myself. Those are my three categories. Let me stress it again, right? Visual, which is a picture. Number two is something written. Number three is audio video. As you know, you already know my feelings on video. So now I need to make this story into those three elements to drive <laughs> traffic onto this page. And by Tuesday, we can go back and double check all this and see how, how many people need to see it for me to be happy, right? If I were pushing this directly into a market, it's, it's a different story. We're doing it on the Home Advocates website for the sake of discussion. Um, I might build one or two websites this weekend, so I'll have some working examples for you. But this works. We've proved time and time again, sharing to groups, and we've done it real time within an hour. We've seen the number of people who see it. What I want to do is drag people away from Facebook, okay? And I want to drag them on over to my website. Got it? Without having to hit that promote button. How do I do this without spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars? And it gets, it'll add up quick. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm actually, I use it a lot. I use it for the red people. I use it for myself. I'm into it. But use it correctly, which is to get people to view the content, not the website. If you send somebody to your website or you send someone into a funnel directly, you are going to get spam. If you send someone to a video or to an article that they have to read before they click forward, you are less likely to get spam and to get real people. And you are also creating a higher search ranking, in this case, home advocates, in Lori's case, Las Vegas realtor. Everyone got it? Any questions right here before I show you the content that I would use? <coughs> Sally had to leave. And by the way, if any of you want to discuss having this done for you for a month, please feel free to text me at 858-663-2537. When I build a website, which has been requested of me, this is what I'm going to do for the entire month. This is exactly, this is like my resume. This is exactly what I'm going to do every single day for a month to make sure that your website is no point making a website if nobody's going to the website. Does that make sense? That would make me very mental. I know Marvin wants a website. I don't like to disclose who wants what, <laughs> but yes, that is correct. Uh, let me take a pause here for a deep breath. Okay, hi everyone. Does anybody have any questions right here? I'm going to show you how to do content. Orlando, you can grade yourself by just typing in those keywords and seeing how they perform. But yes, this is exactly what Marvin wants. He doesn't want a website. You want people on the website. Uh, so if any of you are interested, go ahead and text HELP to 858-663-2537. I'll give you a call. I will quote the number. I mean, you're basically hiring me for an hour a day. I give a discount for the month. <laughs> but that's what you're doing. Uh, you know, oh, but you're only spending 20 minutes of marketing a day. 
I don't know anybody who works 20 minute increments. I work for one hour. That's my price. I'm not saying you can't hire someone and hand them this video and go, here, do it. You can. That's why I created the video. I'm not saying you can't do it. You can. <laughs> Will you? What's it worth to you to have it all set up where this will run pretty much by itself? Once you do this, now you can just drop your own videos on it every single week. You can do whatever you want. In Marvin's case, he's got, he's got videos that I can start with. There's a lot I can start with. Uh, so I don't have to kill myself in, in the beginning. But the idea is to create content as well, where I'm going to show you the content and how to direct that traffic from the content and off of these social media websites. Are there any questions right here? Is everybody good to this section? You can create it yourself. Not that difficult. Going once. 20 minutes a day. Hmm, I'm sure there's a group of people that that works for... It is 20 minutes. I, what I'm going to show, look, we're really at 45 minutes, and that's because I took my time explaining it. Once the platforms are built, right, and you're set up to share within groups, they're done. It's a set it and forget it. I'm not saying that there isn't one really bad day of setting everything up, right, to Terrell's point. Oh, the three things for content, right? So I have my article. My goal is now to get people reading the article on my website because I know they'll see my email address. I know they'll see my phone number. People will tell you, you want to drop hooks on them. You want to do all kinds of stuff and Google ads and do follows and all of that. <laughs> um, I do do it for others, Huey. Again, just text me your info, 858-663-2537. This works for any business. I've done it for pizza places. This is the same formula I use across the board. So let's say it's pizza. Oceanside pizza would be what I go for. Las Vegas pizza would be what I go for. And I would include all those parts and pieces. Uh, it doesn't matter. Las Vegas auto, auto repair. The, the formula works unanimously, unequivocally across the board. And ultimately it's for one thing. So that in about 30 to 60 days down the road, automatically when people <laughs> type in on Google search, Las Vegas Auto Repair, Las Vegas Realtor, Las Vegas Pizza, that's at the top of the list. Does that make sense? That's the goal. That's the goal of any business. I There's nothing that makes me more crazy. And I've had friends in other businesses where they, I have friends who people know the example of who've owned mattress stores. I'm going to name it Dreamloft Bamboo Ergonomically Correct Eco-Friendly Mattress Store. Like, what are you talking about? You're in Pasadena. You want to call it Pasadena Mattress. Anybody in the city of Pasadena is only going to be searching for Patredi Pasadena Mattress locations. It's what I'd be on Yelp. It's what I'd be on. Like, we get caught up in this. I want it to be executive realtors who, you know, fart sunshine and beautiful air. Nobody's searching for that. Want to know what people are searching for in Las Vegas? Las Vegas realtor. Want to know how I know? I went on Yelp. Tina Herman, how do I know? Uh, type in Orlando realtor. See what comes up. Run the search. That's the truth. And if you want reviews on how well that stuff works, call the people who are paying for those word sets. Please leave your message for... Does this, see if they pick up. Hey, do you get a lot of calls from Yelp? I'm just wondering, I'm thinking about doing Yelp in my own city. No, I'm not in your city. I'm in Jacksonville. Don't ever tell them you're in the same city. They'll lie to you. But you want to, hey, what's your traffic from... Hey, I probably get one or two calls a day or week. Again, for a new client, what else are you going to do? Your goal is to capture emails and cell phones, right? And that gets into referral base. That's a different kind of marketing. This is all about what I would do to start webbing out and chasing people all over the internet. Got it? And once I have your phone number and your email, now I can get into the business of marketing to you and sharing content on a daily basis. And that's part of this, right? All right. 
So let's return to this and we'll finish this all up and be out of here within the next couple of minutes. Because this part's easy. You guys have all watched me do this next part a million times. So let's drive traffic back here, shall we? Move this over again. Ah. Got to get a better video cable for this. Share screen. We're going back over here. We're going to share. All right, we're back. All right. My goal now is to put people here, right? What's on here that's special? Well, we already know that I have a pop-up that's going to appear for any new visitor over here on the right-hand side. There's a contact, of course, but at the bottom of it is information. They can also leave a comment or a reply or need help or anything. You can put a big tag down at the bottom to get traffic to it if that works for you. <clears throat> Any of those things kind of work, and I'm good with that. Uh, okay, so let's move to phase two of this. I have built said website for whomever is involved. All the platforms are appropriately set up and I have access to them. They are a member of whatever groups they need to be a part of. Home Advocates only needs to be a part of the real estate community because that's the bulk of their traffic. All right, let me get my coffee. Step one. Uh, and uh, Don asked about this, the three things, written words, that's number one. <clears throat> number two is a visual, I like pictures or memes. And the third is video audio. I used to be very big on audio. Um, even my podcasts are all getting switched over to being video full time, to be brutally honest. Podcasts are a thing of the past. You can just as easily have a video that turns into a podcast, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? So that's kind of my goal these days. Uh, you can't really do it the other way around. If I watch uh, an audio podcast that's been converted to video, it's just a picture on a screen and it's static. That's lame. It's really lame. It's really lame, in my opinion. Um, and I can tell you from research, they get fewer views. Video is all that there is. And there are lots of places you can <laughs> drop video and we're gonna cover what I would do with this article. So I need three things. I need written, which would be, guess what? This article. Number two, I need a visual, which would be a meme or a photo. Number three, I need, in the case that I've told you all week, video, okay? So this is why we shoot red videos, this is, what you can do with it. I'm just showing you where you can direct it at. All right, so I'm gonna use this article. I'm gonna claim it as my own and I'm gonna quote these as actual stats. So let's start with a meme, right? I've told you guys this a million times, meme maker is what I use. This is the easiest way to generate uh, but, 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 uh, let me get you guys on this, on the chat bar. There you go. There's the meme maker. It's a meme generator. I'm going to use a classic. We've used it before, right? So uh, let me see who A is in this scenario. She's A. So that would be your equity. Uh, That would be buyers. And that would be sellers. And I would change this probably to lower prices to make the joke work. There you go. It's done. You can generate it. You can remove the watermark. You can do all kinds of stuff. I don't really care about that. Right click it, save the image. Okay, now I have a completely custom item that I can now take over to my Facebook page. So let's go in order. I'm going to upload this photo. <clears throat> eh, 
CNBC. Tag when you can, but that's a whole different discussion of why you do that. Um, CNBC reporting drop in equity. Now, my opinion, if you want people to start reading articles that you've created, go back to your article. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I got too many tabs open. It's difficult. Where am I? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nope. Why am I not seeing it? Hmm. I'm already frustrating myself. All right. I'm going to go to my, there's my tagline. All right. I'm going to take the bullet points for this particular piece. All right. And let's go back over to our Facebook. Put the bullet points. Nice. Click here. Read more. Now, if I were to push this, right, this I would push, right? This I would boost. This I would advertise. By clicking this, it'll also give me a button choice, right? <laughs> like I can add a button to this. But for the sake of discussion, this is where I want to send them. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it right there. Boom. That's it. Always add a location. You can highlight the boost post and have it all set up for you. I like to do them individually because I like to target the way I like to target. It's done. <clears throat> Simple as that. Now, from here, I'm going to switch over to my personal profile. This is the only thing I don't like about the new setup. You got to do it from, from your own personal profile now, right? So let's go to Home Advocates. There's the article. I want to make sure I have a copy of that link. Let's share it. Share to group. In my case, this is all real estate. If it were for Las Vegas, I can type in Las Vegas. It's going to bring up all my Las Vegas art places, right? Mm -hmm. But in this particular case, my goal is to get all of these real estate people or the other one that I have that I've joined, realtors, right? All of these locations. And the posting is very simple. It's an article at the end of the day. Click here and read at CN, CNBC. Don't highlight it again. I just want to leave it up there. You could probably even, I, I just want to highlight it so people see it. Right? That works as well. That'll give you a highlight on it so people can see it, people know it. Boom. That's it. Now I want to copy, cut, and paste this. You can add a title. You can do all kinds of cool stuff that they're into. Uh, I like bold. I like heading one. I don't know if you need bold, but that's cool. You can, you can do whatever you want here each time you post it, right? You can bold. Loss of equity. Again, always tag your location. The less you look like a robot, the more places you can put it. I wouldn't be spending this much time, by the way. It would be way faster. I'm doing this slowly so you can see it. And I'm going to do this into all of the real estate groups, period. I'm going to share it to any of my active pages. I'm going to share it as a story on this time, on my timeline. I'm going to share it on my own timeline. But really, this is where the real magic happens, right? I want realtors clicking on this, and it would be this quick. That's what I would do repeatedly with that one piece. I haven't spent a dime, 
I haven't boosted it. I haven't paid for the boost. So now we've got a visual. This can go over to Instagram. You can actually set this up through the ad center. Uh, you can go vice versa. Okay. You can use Instagram. Same thing on Instagram. Right? No different. Instagram. Ugh. Instacart is not Instagram. There we go. You can finally do stuff from your computer. Why? Log in with Facebook. I don't know why that's such a pain in the butt, but you can do it on Instagram as well. So that's the first two places I would put it with a link over to that. This is what happens when you move computers. All right. So that's done. I've done a visual, right? Same thing. Uh, I can also use this uh, in other places, but really where it matters, Facebook, Instagram, for those of you with TikTok accounts, cool, mm -hmm. use it there. If you want to use LinkedIn, have a LinkedIn account. I would do the same thing on LinkedIn. You can use all of those places. Your goal is one thing, and that's to get them onto this page. Does that make sense? That's it. I want real estate people on this page. I want homeowners on this page. That's it. I have now done my visual for the day. Second one is my written. Guess what? Same formula. All right, let me switch out to Home Advocates again. I hate this new format. I really do. All right, back to Homeowner Advocates. Now I'm gonna do a written, right? So again, I'm gonna use the photo that came with the story. Simple enough. I'm gonna go back and grab <clears throat> the entire piece and go back over to my Facebook page and post it. And there you go. So I'm going to space this one out, All right? Make this one a little sexier. Again, always get a backlink where you can get it. It helps put it in the stream, especially if I'm going to boost it. So now I've got a visual. Uh, I've, I've done a visual. Now I'm doing one in writing. So the real gimmick on this one, grab the same link, copy it. Read more, and then paste it. Read full story. I like that. I'm going to copy this whole thing just for the sake of showing you this. Always remember to add a location. I change it all the time, by the way. And I'm going to boost it and I will more than likely add a button to the story itself because it makes it easier, especially when I'm paying for the boost. All right. So now I've got something funny that's visual with a little bit of writing. I probably wouldn't have added this much, probably just this first part if I had to redo it because I think I don't want to kill it twice. I would probably take that all out. Save it just like that. That's how I would probably run it. This is my writing. All right? That looks more like the actual story. And again, I'm not changing my format here. I'm switching over to my profile. And I'm going to go back to Home Advocates. And I'm going to do exactly what I did before. And I'm going to share it in all the same spots. In this case, Realtor. 
Doesn't matter. If I was doing Las Vegas, I could do Las Vegas. We'll just do it for the sake of doing it. Las Vegas free stuff, Las Vegas buy and sell, Las Vegas home businesses and networking. There's a good place to put it. Boom. And CNBC. Loss of equity. Las Vegas. Post. That's it. Now I've done two. What's the third part, you might ask? Well, that's really simple. For those of you that are doing red videos, you'll know the punchline to the joke. But if it were me, I go, hi, my name's Lee Hanish. I am uh, your local home advocate here in Las Vegas. And I wanted to let you know that CNBC is reporting that there's been a loss of equity in the houses in the, in the area. Not very polished, is it? Let me do it again. Hi, my name's Lee Hanish. I'm a homeowner advocate here in Las Vegas, and I wanted to report that there's been a loss of equity in houses and housing in Las Vegas. Click the link down below to read the full story. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to share with you graphs and charts that might be useful to let you know about your home's value. That's it. Cut, paint, Guess what? Go back. By the way, I'm putting these on all my profiles. I'm putting it on YouTube. I'm putting it on Instagram. I'm putting it on Facebook. I'm, I'm repeating the same formula. And guess what? They're all pointing at the same location, this article. So in the time that we've done this over the last hour and 15 minutes, the question is, has anybody actually clicked on this story yet? And today, nobody's clicked on that story yet. Mm. However, I still have three people that have run Google search for home advocates, so I must be doing something right. Now, do I think that people will come in? Yes, and I should see them uh, as referral clicks from locations. They've really gotten rid of everything that tracks websites and ranks websites. They're not as cool as they used to be. But those are the ways that I would advertise that content. Once I capture your cell phone and your email, that takes us to the final part, right? And the final part really is, well, what's the last thing to do? Remember, there are three types of marketing, direct marketing, digital marketing, right? And I would count this as direct marketing. That's the, the big deal about this. And the last would be... Um, Referral marketing. So what do we do for referral marketing at that point? Get yourself a constant contact account, right? And it's no big deal to create an email campaign. Oh, got to reload the page. Log in. And create an email from scratch. Now, I would probably only do an email once a week. But for those of you who know me, you know I'm pretty aggressive. My goal is to get a listing. It's to get traffic, right? So again, I can either use the video right here. I'd probably put the video right here. And then I'd put the headline right here. Again, do I want to take people back to the website? I can, right? I just make this the photo. And I would probably make a game time decision on which photo I use. To be honest, I don't know which one. Probably classy when it goes with email. Ooh, it doesn't like, I got to convert that. All right. So in this case, I'll use the, I'll use this one. All right. There are two ways to do an email with the same content, right? So let's cover them both real quickly. So I've got a list. I've got 200 names or I've got 300 names, right? So I can do this two ways. Where's my 
content. Go back. There we go. There's my title. Again, I'm not writing anything. I'm going to paste it. I'm done. I don't know if I like that. I might enlarge it and clean it up so that it's there. Cool. And then if I want them to go back to my website and take action, right? That's called the click. And that's important. I have a 60% open rate, but what I'm proud of is 50% of that group always clicks. So I've got to lead them somewhere. So here's the content that I want to put up there. This is exactly what I would do if I wanted them back on my website, right? Click here. Read full story or just full story. People will get it. Got it? And I would change this link to this address. You're going to send them to a web page. Boom. And then insert it. That email's done. It can go. I can also use the same video because I will have uploaded it to my YouTube page, right? These are all videos that I can easily use. You just copy the link, gives you a shareable link. I'm just showing you for the sake of doing it. I haven't done it for this particular experiment, but I'll just show you how easy it is to change this to say a video. I'm just gonna add it. I'm gonna edit it. And that video that you saw me stare into the camera and make, and now I can just insert it. And that still works, right? Now, there's one other option, which is give them the whole story, right? I've got the content. I already captured them. Make sure to grab all your information from the bottom as well. Grab the entire story. Go back over to Constant Contact. Now, I'm actually going to make this the actual email itself. Boom. I don't like it centered. Why does it do that? It's so irritating. I'm going to left justify. It's all cleaned up. Change this to click and call me now. And then switch this. We're going to change that link. I'm going to make it a new button and change it to a phone, which it gives me the option to do. You only have to do this once a week, in my opinion, but you can do it daily as well. Now, Here's the question you have to ask yourself about this. And it's a simple question. If I do this every day, will I get more traffic on my website? Will I get more phone calls to my phone? Will I keep what people I have calling me and asking me questions about everything? Will people let me post on those groups if I do all this? If it's real content, they will let you. If you go out of your way to make it a sales pitch, which is what everybody does, they'll send it to a, that's how you get spam. That's how you get thrown out of groups. That's how you get people who crap all over your website. But that's the formula. And if you have any questions and you want me to do it for you, uh, go ahead and text me at 858-663-2537 or send me an email at lehanish at yahoo and we can discuss it for you. Uh, I'm only capable of doing a couple of people over the next month. I can only take two or three per month. And I've already had this request, which is why I brought it up, that I'd show it to everybody. Uh, but if you're interested, please let me know at one of those two sources.